everyone myself nitin from the gate academy now we will be having a session on the gate exam preparation strategy for transportation engineering so before proceeding i would like to have your attention to this data so if you see this data you can understand that every year more than 1 lakh students are appearing the gate exam this year almost 1 lakh 50 thousand students have appeared but if you see you can understand that only 15 percentage of the students are able to qualify gate exam every year so you know that we are having a cutoff generally in between 25 to 30 correct so if it if you are belongs to obc or sest category it is even less than that but still 85 percentage of the students out of this 1 lakh 50 thousand so you know it will be more than 1 lakh so those many students they are not able to crack even this 25 marks out of 100 so why it may be happening no, only one answer for this question that is the improper way of preparation so in this session we will be seeing how to prepare for gate exam what all things you have to study what all things you have to just skip that is what all things you have uh, not to study those things we will be discussing in this session so particularly how you have to prepare for the gate exam for transportation engineering subject that's what we are discussing in this session so if you see this chart here i have shown you the percentage weightage of uh, transportation engineering in every year so you can see that they used to ask transportation engineering for around 10 marks every year but yes definitely in 2015 and 16 it went below to 7 marks and lower but still again it started increasing its weightage if you see the chart you can understand that uh, it is started increasing from 8 9 10 and all so you know this last year 2019 in the afternoon session they asked for 11 marks see 11 marks out of 100 is a very significant weightage what is the importance of transportation engineering in gate exam point of view see generally you know only uh, engineering mathematics uh, geotechnical engineering environmental engineering sometimes those subjects only they used to ask for 10 marks or sometimes even more than that now they have started giving the equal importance for transportation engineering as well now what is the importance of transportation engineering over other subjects if you want to score a 10 marks from other subjects and if you want to score the same marks from transportation engineering the effort that you have to put for these subjects is comparatively very less so just by putting comparatively less effort you can be able to solve most of the marks from transportation engineering you know that it's comparatively simple subject which from which you can score easily okay so that is the advantage of transportation engineering over other subjects now we will see what are the different chapters in this subject and what is the comparative weightage of these chapters so here i have uh, uh, given the various chapters in transportation engineering and the weightage for each chapter if you see the chapter wise weightage you can understand that the geometry design of highways traffic engineering and payment design and maintenance holds comparatively more weightage than other other chapters okay see this last chapter airport engineering and uh, railway engineering it is added in 2016 in that year they have not asked any question from this chapter that's why i kept a zero as the minimum level but from 2017 onwards every year they are asking a question for two marks either from railway or from airport engineering but the thing is the subject of uh, the chapter of railway engineering and airport engineering is actually a vast chapter but for gate exam point of view you don't have to cover the entire concepts of railway engineering and airport only thing the most important things are the uh, super elevation in railway engineering 
and the runway length in uh, airport engineering and some uh, few concepts from the taxiway also that coming under airport engineering so those concepts only you have to cover to score these two marks okay you don't have to cover the entire concepts of railway engineering and uh, airport engineering and now how to score these 10 marks from this particular subject as we know almost 10 to 11 marks they used to ask this year also we can expect an average 9 or 10 marks so definitely you can able to score 6 marks or 7 marks if you are uh, just reading the chapter and understanding the concept but how you can crack that 10 marks out of that 10 that's what we are going to discuss here okay the first step is listening the lecture See, in the class we will be covering all the concepts along with solving a lot of previous gate questions and other previous uh, or uh, the practice questions okay but you know in the class it is difficult to solve all the previous gate questions because of our time constraints so you have to solve apart from the practice questions that we are doing in the classroom you have to solve the previous gate questions as well why because after solving the previous gate questions you will be getting a clear idea regarding which all topics they are giving more focus and from which all portions they are frequently asking questions okay so by solving the previous questions you will be getting an idea regarding the weightage of topics within a particular chapter okay then comes the chapter test and subject test see it is a very important thing you have to take it very seriously see particularly when i'm talking about uh, the test series uh, given by the gate academy we are giving chapter test for each chapter in every subjects see here we are having six chapters so for each six chapter you will be getting separate chapter test finally by covering all the concepts of transportation engineering you will be getting a subject test as well so by attending this test series you will be getting a variety of questions that is the most important thing if you see the previous questions particularly the 2019 questions you can see that they are asking a variety of questions so just by knowing a concept you will not be able to attend uh, the whatever questions they are going to ask because in different way in different varieties of way they can ask you the same concept so that's why i suggest you to go for the test series there we are putting the questions in very different varieties so that you will be getting lots of questions in the frame uh, in one particular concepts itself okay so by attending the test series very seriously you will be in a uh, position to solve whatever questions they are going to ask then comes one of the most important thing which i would like to uh, discuss in this session that is regarding the exercise book the gate academy is going to release one exercise book trust me it will be very effective effective for your uh, preparation what we have done in this exercise book is it is not simply collecting questions from here and there and just simply putting what we have done is for each subject and for each chapter we have made three different levels of set of questions means if you are taking particularly say uh, for geometry design of highways you know it is one of the important chapters from a gate point of view what we have done, if I am particularly talking about that particular chapter, for each chapter, three sets of questions, level 1, level 2 and level 3. Set of questions we have made. Level 1's uh, questions uh, includes all the basics from that uh, particular chapter. That is all the basic formulae, all the theoretical concepts and previous RRB SSC questions which can be asked for gate that also included in level one set of questions from where you will be getting a lot of theoretical concepts regarding that particular chapter level two includes the expected gate questions we have not included any previous gate questions in this book because you know the same questions will not be repeated correct so what we have done 
we have uh, uh, exclusively made unique questions which can be asked for gate exam that are the expected gate questions so you will be getting a set of expected gate questions in the level 2 more importantly level 3 set of questions where we have included some tougher questions compared to the gate questions so by solving this level 3 questions you will be very much confident enough to score whatever questions they are asking in gate after solving these level 3 questions you will be using multiple formula in one single question some tricky questions definitely it will be there so by solving these level 3 questions you will be in a position to score whatever questions they are going to ask for gate trust me students this this exercise book if you are solving very seriously definitely it's going to help you like anything okay then comes the full length papers see by solving this exercise book at this stage you will be in a position to score whatever questions they are asking from whichever concepts now while attending the full length papers the advantage you are getting is automatically you will be getting the time management power also so you have to score this many or you have to solve this many questions from this much particular time so within that time you have to score you have to solve all the questions so by attending this test series and full length uh, mock test series you will be automatically gaining that power of time management as well so minimum 50 questions you will be getting from transportation in this full length papers so we have arranged the number of questions according to the weightage that has been asked in the previous uh, gate papers okay then comes very important thing all india mock test series so what is the difference between this full length test series and all india mock test series you may be thinking that it's nothing but so you know that every year lots of students used to write our uh, all india mock test series so after attending the all india mock test series provided by the gate academy what advantage you are getting is since lots of students are attending our test series our uh, all india mock test uh, series you will be able to analyze yourself suppose you are getting a rank of 1000 but you are uh, uh, you are uh, targeting a rank of 300 or 400 which means you have to improve on your preparation suppose you got the all india rank 500 see in this all india mock test finally we will be providing your score along with your rank in the all india level since most of the students from india are writing our uh, all india mock test series every year you will be getting a clear picture regarding where is your level suppose you are getting a rank of 200 or 300 in this all india mock test or somewhat less than 10 which means you have to maintain this level understood so from your rank that you are going to get after writing this uh, all india mock test series you can analyze yourself whether you have to improve a lot or whether you have to maintain this preparation level like that okay so if you are following these steps in your way of preparation definitely definitely you will be in a position to score whatever questions they are going to ask okay so only thing you have to keep in mind that one is time management the second thing is practice so practice is very important while you are solving or while you are following these many steps see more than 900 questions you are going to solve particularly from transportation engineering okay so do you think that after solving 900 questions from the small subjects you will not be able to score any question definitely you will be in a position to score whatever questions they are going to ask as you are solving lots of tough questions in our level 3 set of questions when you are attending the gate exam you will feel that these questions are simple okay so that's what going to happen if you are taking these steps very seriously okay so now I have uh, I would like to show you some important textbooks which you can refer see if you are asking me uh, for gate exam preparation whether these textbooks are needed I will tell not much because reading the textbooks 
will be very much time consuming. So you know that this Ghana and Just Our textbook, it is for highway engineering. It is very thick book, correct? So if you want to read, see this particularly traffic engineering or payment design, you have to spend a lot of time just by reading it. And that you, after reading, you will not be in a position to score uh, whatever questions they are asking. Because asking questions is somewhat tricky way they can ask. So that's why I suggest if you are feeling any doubt in some particular concept and if you feel that I want to know something more about that particular concept, then you can refer this textbook. Okay. So for uh, solving questions or preparing for gate exam, you don't have to refer any books. If you are particularly want to know more about some particular uh, uh, concept or if you are having any doubt in some concept then go for this uh, reference books just for reference okay so these are the standards textbook you can refer so I think after if you are following very seriously those steps which we have seen previously then there will be no need of referring this textbook okay so just follow those steps so I hope uh, you will be in a position not I hope, I strongly believe that you will be in a position that you will be very much confident uh, in while writing gate exam, at least for transportation engineering. So we will be giving you the preparation strategy for other subjects as well. So please be connected with us. So if you are feeling any doubts in your way of preparation or if you are facing any problem in your uh, way of preparation, you can uh, contact us at any time. We will be very happy to help you and guide you. We, the Gate Academy team, will be very happy if we are, uh, if you are contacting us and if we are able to help you. Okay? I hope this session was helpful for you. Thank you.